The following is a presentation of TFNN. Let's go to uh, Ilka in uh, Boston. Ilka, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Steve, seriously, you guys are unbelievable. You are doing wonders for all the traders. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning from TFNN. Welcome to the August 18th magnificent Monday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. I hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. Let's make sure, let's make sure that you and I, that we do all that we can do to have a magical Monday. I know I'll do all I can for the next couple hours. Thanks so much for tuning in to us. What I'm going to do is, well, we're going to share extraordinary tools, extraordinary tools that help us identify where price is headed to. We'll utilize that lightning bolt pattern, that A to B equals CD tool. We'll utilize Fibonacci expansions and retracements. Of course, those two tools combined would help us to create those Gertley and butterfly patterns out there. We'll also utilize Japanese candlesticks. Because Japanese candlesticks, those are the signs that the bulls and bears leave for you and I each and every day. Now, the show here, it's an interactive show. That means that you can give us a call at 877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We can both take a look at both sides of the trade. You and I, we can go hunting for bulls and bears out there. And let us always remember, folks, that we should never be a prisoner of our past, but instead a pioneer of our future. It is Magnificent Monday. This is TFNN. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. Right now, we got Dow Futures. They're trading up 96 points, trading out at 16,728. S&P Futures up 11 points, trading at 1964. NASDAQ Futures up about 21 points, trading at 4,000 and almost seven. You've got the uh, Russell 2000 up nine points at 1150. King Dollar up five pennies. She's trading out at 8152. Goldilocks back seven dollars right now, trading out at 1298. Silver up and nickel trade at 1957. Light Sweet Crude back about 80 cents, trading at 9656. A quick peek across the globe out here. We're going to find over in Europe right now. The DAX is up 133 points, up nearly one and a half percent out there. The FTSE. That's up uh, 50 points, about three-quarters of a percent. It was a sea of green, although we'll call it slight green, over in Asia last night. The Nikkei up four points. That's an unchanged market. The Hang Seng up 52 cents. I would say that's very unchanged, especially on an index that is traded. It closed out at 24955 The Shanghai, on the other hand, up about six-tenths of a percent, up $13.28. In fact, let's just go check in on the uh, DAX out here. Let's see where the 131 points uh, takes us to inside of the uh, DAX. Well, not really. Uh, you know, I traded at 92.44. Still hasn't uh, gotten over the highs from uh, Friday out there uh, inside of the uh, DAX, just like the uh, rest of the markets out here. We can take a look at pretty much uh, all indices across the board. We're going to see the same candle session that took place on uh, Friday, and that's what you will call not a key reversal day, but an outside day out there. That's where the prior day's high and low was exceeded, and the uh, market closed in the opposite direction. In the case of the uh, DAX, there, there actually wasn't enough movement to the upside out here in order for that to really be considered a bearish engulfing candle. I'm referring to, the, to Friday's session out there. You see, you have to have enough of a trend established in order for this, uh, for this to be a bearish engulfing. Price would have had to have moved up probably into the 9400 area on a move up in order for that to so it's really just an outside day is all that it was of course all that was the uh, spookiness of the uh, news reports going on over in russia and the ukraine we're not out of the woods there that is for sure so the uh, markets will uh, pull the trigger as any triggers get pulled uh, inside the uh, battles that are going on across the uh, world let's take a look at the footsie though uh, trading up 49 points right now, trading at the 67.38 uh, out here. Now, in the case of the FTSE, 
I can't tell you that whether or not these market profiles uh, are valid for the uh, indices out here for these indexes. So let's uh, not worry about the horizontal lines on my screen. Instead, let's just go take a look at some retracements out here. Just the most recent retracement off of the high from July 29th down to the low that was put in here on August the 8th. And what you'll see with the uh, FTSE, nice wide ranging bar here today above the 0.618 retracement uh, level. Now that is a shooting star candle there. There was enough movement to the upside inside of the uh, FTSE on Friday for that to qualify as a uh, reversal uh, session, meaning there was enough movement to the the upside on the uh, prior session. So uh, if the FTSE can uh, take out that high, that high being a 67.4282, close above that, closes above resistance, says that the 67.68 level is next on uh, tap. Now, let's go take a look at the uh, futures markets and let's take a look at the, uh, we'll take a look at all four here, all four time frames, uh, meaning in the upper left-hand corner, we've got the uh, Russell 2000. Upper right-hand corner is the uh, Dow. Lower left is the uh, ES Mini and the lower right is the uh, NASDAQ. Can we take a look at the Russell? Let's just start from the upper left, work our way uh, uh, you know, kind of across and down. Now, if we take a look at the uh, Russell 2000, you can see it right now is, uh, which has been kind of a, a little bit of a laggard here uh, lately. Uh, today, right now, trying to get above its market profile high. That's the 114960 here. Well, what do we know about the Russell? Well, number one, the Russell was the first one to break its descending price channel off of the highs out here. And it did that on the trading session of August 8th. It uh, had some follow through on August 11th. If we take a look at retracement levels, meaning from the uh, high out here, which was when price was trying to get above the uh, consolidation zone, that consolidation zone, the top of which is about 1203.20. But from the high on July 1st at 12.1070, down to the low that was put in here on August the 1st, you're going to see right now, you've got the Russell 2000 breaking above the 0.382 retracement level. So long as it stays above this 1144 area, and what we would have to say, oops, didn't mean to do that, what we would have to say is truly above the uh, market profile resistance area, which is 1149.60. It closes above that. That offers the promise of price moving up to the 1169.60 area. And that is what's going on on the daily chart for the Russell 2000. If we take a look at the uh, daily chart for the uh, Dow out here, what we know about the Dow is the Dow had a similar descending price channel. Price broke above that. On August the 13th, it had some additional follow-through on Thursday. Friday, it had, what, one of those outside day sessions out here. And, uh, you know, not as strong as a, a key reversal. Price, though, is uh, just struggling still at the uh, 0.618 retracement level. Oftentimes, the 0.618 retracement level can be the uh, stage where you start to see a market reverse. So it is very important for the Dow futures, even as strong as they are, you know, up 95 up to 100 points here this morning, they're still a little bit weak. There's still a little bit of uh, weakness out here. Getting above 16,740, though, that will resolve that. Of course, what we do have here also is the uh, Dow futures trading above their market profile resistance uh, level. So they do have freedom to run. That freedom to run, after it gets past that 0.68 retracement area, 16,740, the freedom to run will take you up to the 16,884 area. Do I suspect that's what's going to happen? Well, if we have one more update today. It's got to get a little bit further than this. The uh, Dow will have joined forces from the uh, bullish standpoint from a number of different tools out there. The last one being a lagging indicator that will say it's in full bullish mode out there. What does that say? Well, it says price is either headed to 16884 or that's 17069. And that's really going to be the key area, the real key out here in the market. You know, when the markets were moving lower into that uh, low on August the 7th, I said it's going to be all about the NASDAQ, all about the NASDAQ. And then I said it probably about 10 more times out there. And why did I say that? Well, because the NASDAQ had made no retracement whatsoever off of that last move down. Yeah, sure, it had a, a tough day, as all the markets did on July 31st and did some damage. But the uh, damage really inside the NASDAQ, uh, minimal, minimal. As In fact, uh, inside the NASDAQ, it never broke through its uh, support level of its uh, market uh, profile out there. And now what you can see, if we pull this back here, the uh, yellow diagonal lines going across my screen, that's a rising price channel off of the lows back here in 2013. I'm not going to worry so much about that top area. Where that, you know, in the past, okay, it's been some resistance. We'll pay attention to it, but that doesn't mean that that's where price needs to uh, stop. In fact, 
just the opposite out here. A close today above the uh, price point of uh, July 24th, which is at 39.91. What you're likely going to see is a move up to about the uh, 4,060, 4,070 type level inside of the uh, NASDAQ. So that's another uh, uh, 70 points or so from where we are at right now. So the key here is going to be that high inside the NQ of uh, 3991.25 uh, out there. And as I say, a close above that and a continued move off to the races inside of the NQ. Hey, if it closes back below that, well, we'll just have to see what kind of candle signal, if any, that it provides today. What would it really need to do to get this somewhat uh, bearish from the standpoint of a retracement? Well, that would be a close below the open on Friday. That price point is 39.73 out there, and we'll just have to uh, see how the market plays out uh, right here. But it truly is all about the uh, Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq will go ahead and lift all boats higher out there. That leaves us with the S and P futures out here. If we take a look at the uh, daily chart for the S and P futures, well, what do we know here? What we know is that price broke out of its descending price channel, the one that started back here on that Doji candle from July 24th. We also know if we go from that July 24th high to the low on. August the 8th, that right now you've got the S&P futures trading right into the 0.786 area, 1965. So you see how we can put this all together. 0.786 retracement, which is also the very top of this uh, session out here from July 31st. Now, that was all initiated certainly by sellers, but it was fast trigger sellers out there. It was probably uh, some, I can't recall what the news event, something was happening somewhere. Was that Argentina? I think it was Argentina. Uh, I like that uh, way that Madonna sings that uh, tune out there. Uh, Don't cry for me, Argentina. You're not going to have Stevie's son sing that tune for you, but we'll see if price can break above that. That's really the line of demarcation inside of the S&P futures. That's out of 1965.50. So 1965.50, you've got that sweet song from the Argentina concerns out there. They seem to have gone by the wayside. You don't even hear anybody talk about that anymore out there. If price can get above that, if price can get above the 0.786 retracement level, well, that sends the uh, S&P futures all the way back up to hit highs from July 24th out there. And let's face it, folks, if it can take that out, that sets up an A to B equals C D to the upside. A, a nice doozy out there. You might want to know what does that uh, come out to. Let's go take a look at that A to B equals C D tool. Let's use that lightning bolt. Let's start with our A point, which is the May 15th low. Our B point's going to be that high out here from July. No, not July. Third. We're going to use that high from July 24th. And then that uh, C point's going to be the low that came in on August the 8th. And uh, what that says is a uh, price projection then of 2024, if it can take out those highs. So we'll take things one day at a time, one moment at a time. But if we switch back here, we take a look at the, uh, the kind of the close-up zoom here. We've got the Dow futures at the 0.68 retracement level. We've got the S&P futures at the 0.786. We've got the uh, Russell 2000 futures just trying to break above that 0.382 level. And we've got the NASDAQ trying to bust out its highs. Guess what, folks? It's all about the NQ. It's all about the NQ. It is all about the NQ. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back. of trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. We've just launched one of our best Tiger Dollar sales ever. Right now, you can get a 40% bonus on any Tiger Dollar purchase through Sunday, August 24th. That's right, a 40% bonus. If you're a current subscriber, then this might be the easiest 40% you can make all year. And if you're thinking about subscribing, then get your Tiger Dollars now with a 40% bonus. They never expire and can be used for any TFNN product or service. For all the details, visit TFNN.com and lock in your 40% Tiger Dollar bonus today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow futures up 95. S&P is up uh, 10. Uh, Friday morning when I was doing the uh, Trader's Ed show, we saw gold was a rocking to the uh, downside out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, chart that I put on the uh, screen. Then we'll kind of update you. And what, uh, let me, well, let me uh, do this here. Uh, slight adjustment uh, out here. We uh, lost a monitor just lost a monitor just as I was coming on the air out there. I had to do some quick changing out there. Uh, in any event, let's take a look at the uh, gold contract out here. Now, this is the uh, continuous contract that we're looking at. You've got gold train out at 1297. And uh, I don't know whether gold will make that push down there today. I'd love it to. The reason why I would love it to, and down there, by the way, is 1269, that 1269 area, or 1297. So that would be, uh, what, another 27 bucks. It can do it. It'll be a wide-ranging bar, very much like the uh, trading session out here on July the uh, 14th. But why would Stevie like to see that happen? Well, I'd like to see that happen because it would set up a nice three-drive to a uh, bottom pattern, a nice 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points. That's a July 31st low, 1280.60, up to the high out here on August the 8th, out at uh, 1324.30. If you took that price difference, you multiplied it times 1.272 and subtracted it from the high of 1324.30, that's what will give you that price uh, projection somewhere right around 1269. You'll have a few pennies plus or minus out there. Now, 
If that pattern doesn't set up, what's that mean? It just means we can't use that pattern. Uh, that's all. But these are the, the cool things about uh, Gertley and butterfly patterns, three drive to a top, three drive to a bottom patterns, are that you can draw them in advance. You can anticipate them. And then as price gets down there, then you've got to make a decision as to what it is that you want to do. Why does Steve you want to see price come down there? Number one, you would go ahead and uh, fulfill this pattern assuming that it held and there was reversal. Number two, it's coming all the way back into a, a breakout area. By breakout area, we're just taking a look at that long, wide-ranging bar on June the 19th out there. We always like to see price come back into those ranges, into those areas out there. Uh, that says that gold would have to hold that 1263 uh, price point. Now, if this pattern here fails, what's the uh, next move? Well, the next move we've got to just uh, start paying attention to. You start looking at A to B equals CD down patterns out there. You start taking a look at the uh, potential for a Gertley pattern. What would that be? Well, if we take a look at our A to B equals CD tool, we would use the high out here in gold on July 10th. That looks like that was at 1346 and uh, 1346.80. And in this case here, the uh, B point that I would use is this uh, trading session down here from July 31st out of 1280.60. And then my C point right up here inside of the August 8th level. And I would say a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD takes you to 12.58. So you can see that in this case here, this three drive pattern doesn't have to uh, go ahead and confirm and play out today. And if it doesn't, there's still another pattern that's in place, which is in 12.58. Now, the interesting thing here is if we could really get gold moving to the downside. I mean, really moving out there. Wouldn't it be beautiful to see gold spike that 1258, which would be also the 0.786 level. Go ahead and close right at about uh, the uh, 1269, maybe giving us uh, several patterns all in one uh, shot out there. Uh, of course, that does not mean that you would necessarily jump right in on the uh, long side out here. You'd really like to see some kind of reversal uh, session out there. Maybe you do a, a buy stop or something along those lines. But we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. Now, if gold starts breaking through these areas, the 1258 uh, type range, then you've got larger A to B equal CD patterns that you're going to deal with. And those larger patterns out here, those are doozies. Of course, that would be the ultimate uh, buy inside of gold because at that stage, the uh, name of the game will be everybody will be saying it's over with. And that move would take Goldilocks down to 1194.70. So we've got a number of patterns in advance that we can be uh, watching for right now. Well, though, as we pull things back, what do we know about uh, gold? Right now, gold is trading at the 0.618 level of its last move up. And that's a low off of the July 31st level to the high that was put in out here on August the 11th. Now, Stevie's done quite a bit of homework out here, and I do believe we are going to see gold move lower. The question is just how much lower? That's where I'm just going to watch these patterns as they uh, play out here. I'm going to watch to see whether or not the uh, buyers decide to uh, rush in and uh, support the uh, price out here. But I do believe we're going to see gold move liar, uh, li liar, yeah, liar, you know, lower out there. And it is not out of the question for that larger A to B equal CD pattern to uh, play out and for price to get back into that December 31st area. But we'll just take things one day at a time. We've got the patterns. We've got the areas. We know what it is that we want to uh, pay attention to. You know, just like I mentioned inside the uh, markets, it's all about the NQ. We'll see if the NQ can go ahead and break out above its uh, most recent swing point high. I would have to say silver here, you know, is probably going to give us a signal as well. Right now, silver is pulling back all the way into the area where where it broke out from, which really was the June 17th, June 9th, June 18th area. But silver probably headed to $19.26. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
automation capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races. We got the dial up 97 points. She trade out at 16,760. S&P up 11 trade at 1966. NASDAQ composite of 26 points trade at 44.92. Russell up 9 points trade at 11.51. NDX 100 up 19. New York Stock Exchange up 61 points out there. Volatility index uh, down 52 cents. That means it's taken out its .786 retracement level from its last move up. So she's headed to the uh, bottom out there. Uh, S&P uh, volatility index 
index. The VIX index trade out at 12. 63 uh, gold back eight bucks right now. Silver up four pennies. Lead the charge to the upside. We've got uh, Dollar General. Uh, something going on. I didn't get a chance to read the news. I uh, was dealing with my monitor issues this morning. So something going on between Dollar General and Family Dollar out there. Nonetheless, both trade into the upside up about uh, six bucks, 10 percent. 10% in the case of DG Dollar General. In the case of Family Dollar Store, up about 5%, trading up three fifty. Netflix up $5.66 right now. Amazon up $3 and change. Tesla up $3.50. And, uh, Tesla looks like it's trying to take out that 265 area. Let's go check out uh, Tesla out here. TSLA is the uh, ticker symbol. I believe that old high out there was 265. Uh, let's go take a look at it. This is the uh, daily chart. Let's pull her back out here. The high that I'm referring to is that trading session from February 26. And, yes, the high is 265. Even Steven out there. A volume is 24 million shares. Now, it had a high volume-ish uh, high between both that day and the prior day, February 25th, with 32 million shares out there. So a move above that is uh, very uh, bullish out here. Let's take a look at the A to B equals CD patterns inside of uh, Tesla out here. The A point inside uh, Tesla that we're going to use for the A to B equals CD, the upside, at least one of them, is going to be that low from May 9th out there. The uh, C points or the B point is going to be the high from June 30th, and it pulls back, forms a low, looks like here on July 17th. That's your C point. One to one says Tesla ought to go uh, tar target the 280.87 level so long as she closes above. 265. But we take a look whether that, that sets up a, a butterfly pattern. We're going to go take a look at the expansion of that swing from February 26, all the way down to our A point out there. And what we will see is the uh, targeted range you would have to say for Tesla. Next targeted range is going to be the uh, 280.87 to uh, 288.88 ish range. There would set up your butterfly pattern. Now, it could be a tiger butterfly if it can make its way up there today, tomorrow, the next day, whenever price tags that uh, range and do it with less than 24 million shares out there. Does it have to stop there? Absolutely not, because you could easily see Tesla. I can make the case that 300 is in the uh, cards for Tesla. We'll just have to pay attention to it from a volume standpoint out there. But nonetheless, Tesla breaking out above its highs out there. Also to the upside, we've got the uh, IBB, the uh, bio the NASDAQ uh, Biotech uh, ETF. Let's go check in uh, the IBB. Only up about uh, about 1% out here, but nonetheless, it looks like it's trying to take out its most recent uh, highs out here. Its most recent highs would be that swing point from July 3rd. Volume there, 612,000 shares, of course. That was a shortened trading session. Uh, price traded up into it 1 million shares. That was on August the 5th, on July 3rd. I don't know how you really go ahead and do a good correlation of what that volume would be. You know, let's double it. So if you can get above uh, this with more than 1.2 million shares, and again, Friday you're moving in with 1 million shares, was options expiration. So that says, uh, you know, that was a little bit more volume potentially in the marketplace. Uh, let's still just uh, focus on what this means, though. A close above, volume or not, a close above 265.43, that could set up a fairly large a to b equals cd to the upside out here let me pull this uh, back out there yeah that would uh, if you get above that july 3rd high they let's face it if you do it with more than a million shares out there you then have a confirmed a to b equals c to the upside and the swing point only has a million shares i'm referring to february 25th out there so the ibb uh, has recaptured in essence all of its uh, losses when it uh, when it sold off from that uh, February 25th level to the low that was put in on April the 15th out there. And that is on the IBB ETF out there. Uh, it would make sense with the NASDAQ taking out its size. It would certainly make sense for the IBB to, buy, to be participating in that uh, move higher. Workday Inc., WDAY, up a couple of bucks, up $2.65 right now. It's trading above uh, its little downdraft uh, session out here from the uh, July uh, July 8th, okay, was it's a downdraft session. Uh, it is trying to, uh, WDAY is the uh, ticker symbol now. It's trading into a swing point here from the uh, trading session of July 2nd.
All right, 862,000 shares. On Friday, it was pushing in with 895. Hey, not too shabby. If you can get above that, that'll set up an A to B equals CD to the upside. That will take this equity here, WDAY. The A point on this is going to be down at the trading session of April 28th. That uh, B point's going to be that July 2nd level. That's what we're watching here today. The C point, A retracement down in July 17th. This says if it can take out that B point, then 104.79 would be its uh, likely target there. 104.79 to one. 1239, which takes it into oh a high volume high out there. So now we know where work day is headed to. Uh, it's got two candle sessions out here, both uh, July, uh, February 27th and the 28th, both with volume. No volume off of the top or anything along those lines. That is where work a day is headed to. Now it may find some supply at the low of February 27th, which is also the completion of the 1-1-A to B equals CD to the upside. So watch for a little bit. If I'm your pilot out there, Stevie's going to go ahead and put on the turbulence side because there could be a little turbulence at about the 105-28 type range. That is on ticker symbol WDAY out there. That looks, uh, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at some things here to the uh, downside out here. Hey, how did that happen? Dollar Tree now trading a lower out here. Uh, Monster Beverage, Monster Beverage, giving back a little bit of its uh, gains out there, off about two dollars and fifty cents out here. The only danger thing you've got to watch with Monster Beverage would be if this thing were to gap down at some point in time, not today, tomorrow, the next, or what have you, creating a huge island reversal out there. But you know, you've got a bit of a change in structure out here uh, with uh, with uh, Monster Beverage, uh, formerly known as Hanson's Natural, out there. Um, and uh, it's hard to tell you whether or not. Uh, I would say if you're not in this, uh, don't get in it right now. Uh, if we take a look at uh, Valiant Pharmaceuticals, VRX is the ticker symbol, off about 2.5%, down $3 today. Let's go see what Valiant Pharmaceuticals is uh, going to go try to uh, take out. We'll see where its uh, swing point is. So it's trading down right now, volume behind the uh, move out here. It hasn't really moved much in the last several days. I just simply ran into resistance at its uh, TAS market profile out there. So right now trading out at uh, 109.16, volume so far this morning, 395. 5,000 shares. The most current swing point low has got 3.3 million shares. And that is, let's see, is the uh, trading session from just August the 11th out there. Let's pull this back and see where uh, Valiant, VRX, by the way, is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's try to figure out what this is uh, doing out here. Can we figure that out? Can we figure that out? Let's see, is there a high volume low tucked away somewhere out here? No. I would say, though, that if it fails at that 107.63 area, pretty good chance that where this is going to head back to is the uh, level here right around. And it could be anywhere from 73.25 up to uh, 96.25. I know it's a, quite a range out there. 96.25 probably gives you the... Uh, uh, gives you the first indication. Now, let's see, is there an A to B equals CD down? Let's switch over to the weekly chart out here. Let's see if there was an A to B equals CD down that had confirmed out here inside of uh, Valiant. That uh, ticker symbol, again, VRX. The uh, swing point we're going to look at the low is, let's see, April 7th was 115.14. Yeah, 115.14 is the number. That had volume of 18 million shares, and that was taken out. Oh, it was with 20 million shares out there. There's your A to B equals CD to the downside that has been confirmed inside this equity. So as we take a look at that, the A point's going to be the high out here. The week ended uh, February 24th out there. 153.10 is the number. The B point is the week ended February, April 7, 2014. That's at 115.14. And makes a uh, retracement, runs right into a weekly resistance uh, level, right in the 139, even Stephen area. 1 to 1, A to B equals CD takes this equity down into the 10104 area. So it looks like uh, about another $8 to the uh, downside out there and uh, there is no volume in that area to necessarily say that that is where that is going to uh, where that is going to end at and that again is on ticker symbol VRX valiant pharmaceuticals so it is uh, struggling a bit also to the uh, downside out here we've got the allergan 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 AGN is the uh, ticker symbol that is trading off about a buck 48 out here uh, right now, this is uh, just pulling back into a, a support level of its market profile, of course. A, uh, this had nice wide price spread, accelerated volume on April the uh, 21st. I can't remember. Is, uh, is Alec 
Allergan, is that uh, the one that Ackman is involved with out there? Nonetheless, just simply from a technical perspective out here, uh, if this could pull back into, quite frankly, the uh, lows of about 121 or so, 120.72, that's the breakout area. So you'd love to be able to see this thing pull back into that area on some light volume out there. At this stage, though, it needs to break 148.41 in order for uh, that to even be a potential, potentiality. Not that that's a word. Aquin Financial, OCN, is the uh, ticker symbol. She's trading off about a buck, uh, a little over a dollar right now, buck 16 off 4%. But on a weekly basis out here, so we've got the weekly chart, this does not look good. This is in full bearish mode out here. Okay, this is pulling back into its, oh, it's pulling back below its last uh, real sign of strength out there. That volume was on October the 1st. 26 million shares, and it pulled back with 25 million shares. Not a good scene out here. So where is this headed to? Let's take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern out here. B point. February 17th, 30 million shares, got below it with uh, 17 then, didn't, uh, wasn't able to stay below it, and then came back with 24 million shares out here. So... You don't really have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's see. Is there something on the daily basis that might give us a, a clue? Aquin Financial, OCN, is the uh, ticker symbol. That's what we're looking at out here. See if there's anything that might give us uh, any type of indication as to where this could find support in any pattern that it might go ahead and complete. It looks like i got to come back just way too far for that. Oh, here's a high-volume bar. So Aquin uh, could could move back to November 10, 2001. Well, how about that for a, a retracement? And that's somewhere right around uh, 1276, 1335. That's another haircut of about 50% out there. So if volume does uh, continue to the uh, downside out here, it looks like that is where Aquin Financial would be uh, pulling uh, back to. Let me see, what else do we have out here? We've got uh, Grubhub out here. Boy, does that sound appetizer-ish. Grubhub, G-R-U-B is the ticker symbol. I don't know what they do. What does Grubhub do out there? Let me find out for you. Grubhub, something with food, right? You've got to assume they do something with food out here. Where's my research? There we go. Let's see if we can get Grubhub up on the uh, screen out here, and then we'll go see what it is that they are doing. G-R-U-B is the uh, ticker symbol. All right, come on, load up here. There we go. They uh, provide an online and mobile platform for restaurant pickup and delivery orders in the United States. Connects local restaurants with hungry diners, approximately 600 cities out there. You know, folks, uh, back in the, let me see here, back in 1998, I started a Chinese food company out there. It was called Oriental Express. And it was a uh, delivery service. It was, well, we made the food, obviously. Uh, I went again, up against uh, Gino Pellucci. Gino Pellucci is the uh, guy who sold uh, Gino's frozen foods to uh, General Mills out there. And uh, years later, he decided to uh, start the exact service that Grubhub is doing out there. And the place that he first targeted was Chinese food companies. So imagine this. I opened up a little Chinese food uh, restaurant. I uh, opened between like 4 and 10, just the evening meals. It was all carry out. It was 30 minutes or less out there. And and, of course, uh, opening up locations was pretty easy. I just uh, looked to see where Domino's Pizza was opening up locations and, you know, rented a space nearby them out there. In any event, that's what Grubhub is doing. You don't want me to uh, reminisce about those good old days. I can, I can you put me, a, you put me near a walk. I can cook some pretty good, mean Chinese food out there. That was never the intent. But I had a problem with a uh, partner that uh, had sticky fingers. And it wasn't from the food that uh, were sticking to his fingers. And that was unfortunate for me. It was my cash that was sticking to his fingers. So out of there. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at the Grubhub right now. Trading out at 42.81. It's got a nice high volume high out here. So it should get back and test this August 14th level. That's out at a price point of 45.08 out there. Um, not enough. Uh, this thing has not been around long enough. It's an IPO that takes you back into April the uh, 4th out here. But, you know, as IPOs go, this one doesn't look too, too shabby. Uh, most, of the, uh, most of the traders slash investors are in the uh, green on uh, this one. Uh, so it ought to, at least what I can tell you is it ought to go test that August 13th high, $45.80 out there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Let's take a look at LinkedIn. It's been a relatively strong equity out here. It's uh, up off about $2.50 as we speak right now. Uh, this is the uh, daily chart out here. This is completed to 1 to 1.618, A to B equals CD to the upside out here. Um, let's go see. This thing has broken its trend. Uh, you could, I guess I, for some reason, painted a very large, thick, white line. Why did, 
Why did I do that out there? It looks like I drew two. Oh, I probably drew a channel line and a trend line out there. Nonetheless, let's go put that uh, trend line back in place out here. And this is on LinkedIn. What you'd really love to see on LinkedIn, now that it's broken that uh, downtrend, really love to see this thing pull back, test that, and then take off from there. That would probably be in the 195-ish, 96 uh, type area. 877 277 This is the road CFN. Right. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 117, S&P up 12, uh, NASDAQ composite up 29 points, New York Stock Exchange up 61. Nice uh, market breath out there right now. Uh, advancers leading decliners, uh, mm, four and a half to one out there. Uh, so you've got some good market breath behind the uh, move in the uh, marketplace out here. As I uh, mentioned when we came on the air, and I've been been uh, suggesting this for a while here, it's all about the NASDAQ, all about the uh, NASDAQ out there. So let's go check in on the NASDAQ out here. Let's take a look at uh, four different time frames out here. Number one, let's take a look at the uh, daily chart. We take a look at the NQ out here. What we can see is uh, prices trade out about 4009 and some change out there. It is making a higher high, and it is doing it on less relative strength at the uh, moment. It can work that condition up by moving higher that alone is not a reversal out here it's up above resistance that resistance this little evening star formation it's a uh, breakout it's about a 75 point uh, move uh, consolidation pattern that it's been traveling in that says that the high out here from july 24 39 91 25 and you're up above it as long as it closes above that uh, then uh, you've got a uh, you know, another should, we should move to the 4,060-ish uh, type range out there. Uh, if we see some type of reversal out here, then we'll come back and we'll reassess. But right now on the daily charts out here, the NASDAQ, as it has had to for a long time, in order for it to get bearish, needs to, a uh, big fall, needs to get below 3840.88. So at the uh, daily chart, yeah, it's making a higher high, doing it on less relative strength, but that alone is not a reversal. In leg B, in the uh, Chapman uh, wave count out there, so it's got at least four more waves to uh, go. That's what the daily chart is saying. Let's go take a look at our man Saratoga Bob. He's the one that turned us on to the five-hour energy drink out here. And here's the uh, five-hour chart. If we take a look at uh, this, the five-hour chart uh, right now, really the same pattern. This one here more clearly shows you that 74-point consolidation move that has been in place inside of the uh, NASDAQ. And as you know, when you break a consolidation, well, what you first like to see is you like to see price come back and uh, test that uh, level out here. And, you know, you know, to a certain extent, let's see, the uh, candle session here at uh, 4 a.m. when price was, price broke above it, uh, closed above that level at 11 o'clock last night. And uh, that level being the top of the consolidation being, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll give it the highs here from, uh, of, uh, what is it, uh, 39.91.25. So that's the number. And in the next trading session, what do we get down to? 39.94. How about this one? 39.99. No, it hasn't come back. Ideally, it'd come back and it would test that uh, level out out here. Um, you know, price has been traveling in this nice little rising price channel out here that it has not broken through to the downside. That's another area that we would watch on any kind of weakness out here. Otherwise, uh, price looks like it continue, wants to go ahead and make that breakout uh, move to 39.74. That's what's going on in the five-hour energy chart out there. If we take a look at that more traditional time frame, that two-hour chart, 120-minute time frame chart out here, we'll see prices moving higher, doing it on less relative strength. Let me just uh, update this and just make sure, yeah, still doing it on less relative strength, but on the 120-minute time frame, it's up above its market profile high out there. That's at 39.94.50. On the 120-minute time frame, you need to see it close below 39.51.98 in order for things to, in order for us to say, hmm, something to uh, think about. So it's moving higher, less relative strength. That alone is not a, a reason to uh, just, uh, just uh, it's like a weather forecast for some potential storms ahead. We just simply pay attention to it. You got the same pattern here on the 30 minute chart out here with regard to price moving higher. Let me just make sure. Whoa, what did I do out there? There we go. Uh, yeah, you, you got the price moving higher. I'd have to come back and renumber the uh, Chapman Wave count. Maybe I'll do that during the break. Hey, folks, it is magnificent, magical Monday. Thanks so much for joining us here. If you're off to start your day, have a magic day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Otherwise, stay tuned. The Money Masters show is up with your host, Steve Rhodes. So I'll be right back in about eight, ten minutes. Take care, folks. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.